Hi, welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. So, my husband came home and got me a new camera. Yay! So this one, hopefully, he said, um, he tried to get one with image stabilization. So I don't make y'all throw up with my shake of hands. So today I want to show you quickly how I organized my accessories um, using an ice cube tray. Honestly, so awesome. I'm totally geeked about it. And I've seen this done like a gazillion times, but I never tried it. Now I did. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so awesome. But first I have to tell you a funny story because <laughs> you know I'm all of it to funny, tell you the funny story. So we went to the Comber Fair. We live like in an area, a really flat area of southern Ontario, so there's like a ton of farmlands and the Comber Fair is like like the the big farm gathering fair. So we get there and it's like livestock everywhere and tractor pulls and you know, people wearing cowboy hats and they have like pig auctions. And then we went into the petting zoo, they gave us a ticket, they called the name, it was my daughter had won the ticket. They gave her a bunny. <laughs> it's like, you have your choice. Do you want a chicken or a bunny? And I'm just like, what? <laughs> and then she's like, a bunny. And they were said, what color? And she said, white. And they handed her a bunny. No box, no instructions how to care for a bunny. No, hey mom, did you want livestock? Nope, just gave us a bunny. So we have a baby bunny at six weeks old. Where do you put it? What do you do with it? I'm like, so I put in a Rubbermaid tote, it got out, it was like running around the garage. So I made this chicken wire pen in the backyard before my husband got home. He's probably gonna escape. And then I didn't know what to feed him, so I got bunny food and then I was like giving him a bunch of other stuff. He has violent diarrhea everywhere. So I've been like bottle feeding this bunny. Never go to the Comber Fair. And for those of you who organized the Comber Fair, don't give away livestock as a gift. That's insane. Okay, that's that's my story. Here we go for your tip. Okay, ready? This is my little uh, center where I have it organized. So of course you guys have seen these before. These are just cork boards. These were from Staples. They were super cheap. I just stapled fabric on them. And then this is the little box from Winners. You can use any kind of little box like this. It was just like a decorative box. And inside are da, 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 ice cube trays, which are perfect for all those tiny little things like earrings, rings. So I have two sets. Oh my gosh, it's awesome because I don't I had them hung up here, but then it was just getting too cluttered, it was too much. These are perfect. So instead of spending money on, you know, a jewelry box, I just use this pretty box that I already have that matched. And a lot of times you want to get a jewelry box, but you want it to be like funky or whatever. You can even like reuse an old box that you have. So I'm loving that, my jewelry box. That was a gift from my mother-in-law and I didn't really know what to do with it, but I turned it into a jewelry box and it's sick. And it matches my room and I love it. So there you go. Get creative with your jewelry. It totally looks like art, right? And you know what, having it hung up like that, I wear it a whole bunch more than I ever did before when it was put away in a drawer and it got tangled and all that garbage. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. So hang up your jewelry today. Use 3M hooks if you don't have one of these little corkboard thingies. Put it right on your wall. That's your tip. I love this video camera that I can turn it around and see myself and turn it around. Okay, I'm, I'm geeked about that. Anyways, he didn't make me wait till Christmas. He must love me. That's your tip. See you next time.